two small identical electrical dipoles AB and CD. Each of dipole moment E is kept at an angle 120 degree. What is the resultant dipole moment of this combination if this system is subjected to an, to an electric field E directed along the positive x direction? What will be the magnitude and direction of the torque acting on this? So in this given question, you can see there are two given dipoles. The first dipole is AB and the other one is DC. Let us mark the direction of the dipole moment. You can see for the first dipole AB, the direction is along VA. And for the other dipole, the direction of dipole moment is along DC. For any dipole, the direction is from minus charge to plus charge. So, now we will calculate the resultant dipole moment. And dipole moment for each dipole is the same, P. Let us use vector resultant to calculate the value of resultant dipole moment. So, PR will be equal to dipole moment for each dipole is the same. It is P. So, we can write down first vector square plus the second vector square 2 into the two other two vectors cos of the angle between these two. So, in this, di in this diagram you can see the angle between the two dipoles are 120 degree. So, in the next step we will be getting p square plus p square we can add it as 2p square then 2p square cos 120 is minus 1 by 2. Once you solve this we will be getting it as p. So, resultant of this dipole moment combination is one of the vector itself. If this resultant is like this, we know that the direction of the resultant will be along the perpendicular bisector. So, in this diagram, if you mark the resultant direction, you can see that AOC is the angle between the two vectors. So, if you draw the perpendicular bisector, it will look like this. So, this will be the direction of your resultant. So, we can mark it as PR. So, we got the direction of the resultant dipole moment. So, here we are go, uh, supposed to calculate the magnitude and direction of the torque acting on the system since there is an electric field which is acting in the x direction. I have already marked in this diagram. So, we can calculate the torque as torque is equal to P cross E that is P E sin theta. P E sin theta. So, we need to find out the angle between dipole moment P and electric field E. So, again, just look at look at this diagram. We can see that the angle between PR and E we need to find out. So, the resultant is a perpendicular bisector and the total angle is 120 degree. So, this angle will be 60 degree. So, the remaining angle will, should make the total angle as 90 degree in this quadrant. So, we can see that this angle will be 30 degree. So, the angle between the dipole moment and the electric field is 30 degree. So, once you substitute in this equation, you will be getting PE sin 30. So, you will be getting PE by 2. So, this is the value of torque. So, we have found out the magnitude of torque. Now, we need to find the direction of torque. If you apply right hand screw rule, we can see that the torque is into the plane. The direction of torque is into the plane. Or we can say it is a clockwise torque. 